Good morning. I am waiting for it to flip over to the YouTube channel. How is everyone? Is everyone doing well? I hope so. <laughs> Moises, 4321, that's funny. Hey, Marlene. Marlene, have you heard from Celia? Did you try to get her on again? I haven't seen her all week. She usually stops in. Try to get her to come to Ms. Hoffman's stream today. Good day, Ramon. Good day. Okay, so I put in the chat a little sneak preview link to what we are going to be learning about today. So go back to, well, you'll have to open a new window. Okay, so she wakes up at 10. All right, well, try to see if she can go to Ms. Hoffman's live chat today. Try to see if she'll go to Ms. Hoffman's live chat. That would be awesome, especially since we may or may not have a special guest on there, and she will, she may or may not. Thank you, Marlene. I know how hard you're working and how hard you're trying to get her on here. That's so kind of you. Okay. So um, let me take this little comment off. There we go. Um, so guys, today is April 16th, and we are learning about conjunctions. So I tried really, really hard to get us to play the video on um, oh, sorry, 17th, you're right, because tomorrow is um, JJ and Jeremiah's birthday. Tomorrow is the 18th, and it's their birthday tomorrow. So we are going to be learning about conjunctions today, a little bit about writing, some writing action. So let's go ahead and get started. So back in the day, I remember I shared this with you in our classroom. Um, let me pull it up. Pull up the screen. Where did it go? There it is. I shared this video with you. You probably can't hear it at home, but I tried to make it really loud, but it's not working. All right. So what is, tell me in the chat, what is the purpose of a conjunction? What is the purpose of a conjunction? That is what I'm looking for today. So what is the purpose of a conjunction? Thanks, Ms. Hoffman. So if I think of the song, it's saying conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up. Wait, let me bring on one special guest to, to sing this song for me. Hey. Go ahead. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Looking up cars and sentences together. I thank think you. that's how it goes. Thank you so much. Um, does my other special guest want to pop on real quick? Okay. Your mic is muted, person. Hi, everybody. Hey, Miss Snowgrove. Hey, Miss Petrie. How are you? Good. How are you? We're doing well, trying to figure out what the purpose of a conjunction is. Well, we liked your song. It was a great song. Miss Hoffman is a beautiful singer. I got the lyrics up. I can sing it the whole thing now. <laughs> wow, you are talented. <laughs> so, guys, remember to be answering that question in the chat. What is the purpose of a conjunction? A little bit of here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take you off my cell group just in case. Okay, so um, I asked one person specifically on there, Moises, what is the purpose of a conjunction? Guys, you have computers at home, so if you are confused about what a conjunction is, Google it. And we learned about this in our class. So the song says, looking up words and phrases and clauses. Clauses are like sentences, guys. So what is their purpose? To help the word make sense. Okay. Yeah, that's part of it, yeah. You're helping the word make sense. It's not just the word, you're helping the what make sense. 
So, like, when I was working at sentences. Uh, yeah. Okay, Moises, um, uh, that's not what we're trying to figure out. Oh, hey, Ms. Sturgeon. Well, Ms. Sturgeon has Ms. Snowgrove. Hey! Ms. Thomas! Yes, how are you guys? Hey, how are you? We're doing well. You guys delivering those uh, backpacks? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. We so miss you guys. You too. Okay, you guys in, your, in your blue house, Miss Thomas in her blue house, and Miss Surgeon repping her Mort spirit. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, we're rolling through the neighborhood. You got to represent Mort, right? Yes. So, uh, fifth graders, if you're out in the neighborhood outside of your balcony or your of your apartment, you might see Miss uh, Sturgeon or Miss Thomas rolling on by. Yeah. Give them a wave, not a hug. Yeah, give them a wave and not a hug. Okay, wave and wave and not hug. A little air, 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 yep, an air fist bump. Air fist bump. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Good to see you. How many people are on today? It doesn't say on my side of the chat. I'm in private. 13. We're looking at 13 this morning, but usually it pops up more around 9.30. We will probably be 18 to 20. Okay, we see the comments. Yes, you could elbow bump. You could. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take you off, okay? Okay, you guys take care. We're pitching. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so going back to this conjunction, Ms. Hoffman, I'm going to go ahead and remove you so I can pull up my board in the back, okay? Go for it. All right, so the purpose of a conjunction is to connect words and phrases. Not ASWPC, Moises, but I appreciate the, the uh, trying. That's right, Raphael, conjunction, junction. So... When we're looking at conjunctions, we're looking at how to connect those words and phrases together. So I am looking at day five in your packet. This is something that you needed to do for day five in your packet. So if you haven't gotten to day five, that's okay. We're just getting a little bit of a head start on it. So coordinating conjunctions, it's a fancy name for just saying conjunctions. And those are what use um, those are what you use to connect the words and phrases. Remember in the video, and, but, and, or. And, but, and, or. Woo, we got 14 on right now. And, but, and, or are the main ones, but there's also this other one called so. So, and, but, or, so are all conjunctions that you can use to connect those words and phrases. So, I went ahead and put a sentence up here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Hey, Freddie, good morning. Glad to see you're here. Okay, all animals need food, water, blank, shelter to survive. So go ahead in the chat and you let me know what is the word that's go the conjunction that's going to connect these words or phrases together. All animals need food, water, blank, shelter to survive. Okay, so go ahead, type in the chat and let me know. Awesome. I love this participation this morning. I bet you Gloria slept in today. She's usually like here, here. Yeah, that's right, vlogs fam. It's the word and. So you're putting and in here. So all animals need food, water, and shelter to survive. So the second part of this, the second part of a conjunction is something called, now this is as a fancier name, subordinating, subordinating conjunctions. You're thinking of subordinating conjunctions. Thank you and send it to whoever else you want to, please, um, A.B. So subordinating conjunctions cannot stand alone. So you have words like because, before, during, when, while, although, unless. So here's a sentence. I'm going to write it out as we are learning today. We will not be able to stream 
later, blank, We will not be able to stream later blank our Wi-Fi works. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more for you. We will not be able to stream later blank our Wi-Fi works. So what word, not from and but or so, we're looking for because, before, during, when, while, although, unless. We're looking at subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so let me go ahead and pop up. Great participation today, guys. Awesome, Ramon. Yeah, that's right. Unless our Wi-Fi works. Unless our Wi-Fi works. Unless our Wi-Fi works. Okay. So those are two just like quick little sentences that help us remember the two different types of conjunctions. So you've got regular conjunctions, coordinating. So when I think of coordinating, I think of um, how a party planner coordinates the guests and the party, brings them together to make the big, big party. So they're coordinating things. We know that's like organizing. So a coordinating conjunction is what helps bring the, the phrases together. On the other hand, a subordinating conjunction can't stand alone. So it does link those things together, but if you were to take away the word unless, like it, you wouldn't be able to let it stand alone. Also, you could probably call um, subordinating conjunctions a lot like our transition words. So although, we use although a lot as a transition word. So Miss Richards would be real proud of us for talking about some transition words. Transition words. Okay. All right, last thing I'm gonna do about teaching wise is I'm gonna share my screen with you again. Well, not teaching-wise, because I've been teaching you. I wanted to go ahead and put up your packet work for the day, okay? So what you have for your conjunction work is right here. Oh, man. Okay, let me just fix my screen. Ms. Hoffman, if you could monitor my comments real quick, because I can't see them. Thank you. All right. So we're talking about these coordinating and subordinating conjunctions, right? This is basically what I just explained to you in a simpler form. That's okay, Moises, you're getting the head start here. Let's go ahead, we're only gonna look at one of these questions, just one of them. So um, because I know that Miss Muller sometimes tunes in to our live, and I know Miss Hoffman loves um, cats so much, we're going to look at number four, okay? We're looking at number four. I hope everyone can see that pretty big on your screen. Yes, okay. So number four states, tigers in some areas are destroyed. Blank poachers kill them for their skins, okay? Tigers in some areas are destroyed. Blank poachers kill them for their skins is it a during b because c although b or sorry d before so is it a b c or d just type the letter that you think it is in the chat is it a b c or d A, B, C, D, which one are you? That was some great singing, but it wasn't as great as Ms. Hoffman's. That's for sure. Okay, let's see what we have here. Monsters. Huh? I'm confused. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so we have um, answer B. We also have one of saying because, so that's what B would be. So let me leave that up. Ramon, I love how active you are today in our chat. Okay, so tigers in some areas are destroyed because poachers kill them for their skins. 
Ding, 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 you are correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna circle because on here. And remember, I will put this up on Edsby so you can see how we worked on it today. I'll also take a picture of my screen behind me so you guys can remember what we did also. Okay, um, do y'all wanna do one more? Let me know in the chat. I have time for one more. So if you would like to do one more, just let me know in the chat. Okay, Ms. Hoffman does, so we're gonna do it. All right, let's see. Oh, this one is good because it's science related. Okay. So habitat loss, oh wait, blank habitat loss is a big problem for tigers. It is not the only danger they face. Hey, Stephanie, just in time. Blank habitat loss is a big problem for tigers. It is not the only danger they face. Is it A, since, B, because, C, before, or D, although? Is it A, B, C, or D? Also, my light is like flickering right now, so it's making it a pretty spooky in here. Blank habitat loss is a big problem for tigers. It is not the only danger they face. Okay. Whoa. Lots of participation on this one. Um, we have the answer of D. If you said D, you are correct. Awesome. Or as Ms. Hoffman would say, awesome, awesome. So although habitat loss is a big problem for tigers, it is not the only danger that they like, face. So I have like this fancy light over here. So um, it could just be something like that. Not sure exactly why it's flickering. Okay, so let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. I actually love conjunctions too. Like I, if you guys, oh, hey, Ms. I'm sorry. I didn't even prep you. Awesome, awesome, yes. Please let me know in the chat. Do you like, because this is helpful for me and my teaching wise, do you like when we do more like conjunction and grammar stuff? Like, would you rather grammar or um, help with comprehension? Grammar or question um, mark. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay, so answer this question for me, guys. Which do you prefer? Grammar is like the conjunctions, what we just did. Conjunction, junction. The, the comprehension stuff, I might make a couple of, um, I might make a couple of references, but if you guys really like grammar, I can try to bring in like one or two grammar questions for each of the streams like we did today, because I think that that's helpful. I think grammar every single day is helpful just because like, it's one of those things that we know with speaking, but like writing, it's 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 super hard. I'm not gonna lie. Agreed. 100% agreed. Wow, so I remember how I told Miss Snowgrove earlier, we're at 13 now, but we'll probably go up later. Now we're at 18. What? I, I predicted 18. That's so funny. Now my prediction came true. We are at 18. Okay, so real quick, he's probably gonna get mad at me, but I'm gonna go outside because this is how we can do our kindness challenge today. So let me see. Um, hello, hello, hello? Nope, oh, he's not out here. Okay, so I hope I stays on. If it doesn't, Ms. Hoffman take over and I'll come back. Gotcha. Outside of my house right now, and my husband is building um, these brick columns on the side of my house because he's bored, so he's working outside. So um, your kindness challenge today is to sweep the doormat. It's to sweep the doormat. So I went ahead and let me see if, yep, I have like two signal bars. There's my, our doormat, our outside doormat. 
We have that one that looks like grass because my husband's boots often get very dirty. I'm shocked he's not in here, out there. He must be in the backyard getting more supplies. So anyways, the neighbors next door must have thought, the people working on the house next door must have thought I was crazy just then. So it is to sweep the doormat. So my husband gets awful, awful mud on his boots. That's why I was trying to get him to show us his boots, but I don't know where he went. So anyways, so we felt like for kindness challenge today, well, Ramon, he's only, you're right, working outside, it's not very quarantine of me, but he's working in our house, and it's just him and me, and we don't go anywhere. So, um, yeah, we haven't been doing anything. He's just been working right outside. When we mean quarantine, it's not being that we have to stay inside 24-7, you can't go outside. It's more or less of staying away from people that are not already in your house. So that that means that, like, for example, like Chris and like Miss Miss Um Perone, we go outside, we take walks, but when we see people, we make sure we're staying apart. It's also like I'm not we're not inviting our best friends over to our houses so we can watch TV. Right. Like I would love to be hanging out with Miss Bellis and her boys during this time because you know how much I love them. They're like my second family. But unfortunately I can't. Like I can't go home and see my parents right now because they're older and I can't go see my niece because I don't want to put them in jeopardy. However, I can be outside in my yard. I'm still keeping that six feet of distance. And that's important to go over. So I'm thankful that you mentioned that. Um, okay, so kindness challenge is to sweep the, um, sweep your doormats, guys. Yeah. Yeah, be in a call and watch a movie at the same time. Okay. Um, all right, virtual spirit week is spirit shirts. So make sure has Mine is kind of a muted red, but it is a fifth grade shirt. It was our fifth grade shirt last year, and we tie-dyed them. That's right, all of the houses. We tie-dyed them in our house colors. So I didn't do one thing today, and that was on this day in history. So exactly, Freddie, be careful of your surroundings. Exactly. Just being a little bit extra cautious. That's all that we're doing. Okay. Extra cautious. Cautious. Okay, so today's um, on this day in history. It's gonna be kind of a bummer, but it'll grow. It'll grow to be something exciting. Kind of. I mean, I think it's exciting. Hmm. April seventeenth in seventeen ninety. Sad news. Benjamin Franklin passed away in seventeen ninety. Benjamin Franklin. But what do we know about Benjamin Franklin? Tell me thing. One thing that Benjamin Franklin invented in the chat. He is amazing. What is one thing? What is one thing Ben Franklin invented? Come here, I need to show your boots. I went outside, but you weren't there. Oh, sorry. I was a... dun, 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 dun. Look, guys. So this is why the inspiration for our kindness challenge today is to clean and sweep the doormats because this guy, <laughs> this guy's awful boots. You teased my brother, Ben, by calling him Benjamin Franklin. Oh my gosh, that's funny, Anna. I probably would do the same thing. So he captured lightning. Partially, he did capture lightning, but when he captured that lightning, what did he find out? What did he discover? What did he discover when he captured that lightning? Yes, the stove is one of the inventions. Awesome. I wonder if somebody's going to say my favorite invention he did. I don't know, Miss Hoffman. You might just have to spoil that for us. Well, let's see what we got. Moises, he did not invent the light bulb. That was Thomas Edison. Lightning rod. Mm-hmm. Lightning is a power source to electricity. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, he essentially invented electricity. Am I right in saying that, Miss Hoffman? 
He discovered electricity. He didn't invent it. Invent it. He discovered it. Moses, the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Fun fact. It was covered yesterday in my live. Yes. And fun fact, I forgot to mention this yesterday. Instead of saying hello, he wanted people to say ahoy. Ahoy. So I'm going to try that after this, Ms. Hoffman. I want you to call me so I can go ahoy. I think we should do that. I think from now on, whenever we call each other. So part of our um, On This Day in History about Ben Franklin, I'm going to tell you some random facts that I found out. I found out, I Googled some facts about Benjamin Franklin for this, so that way it would all be connected. And I think that you're going to like these. So, oh, it's okay, Moises. I won't tell my husband because he loves history. So, Benjamin Franklin was not very good at advanced math. <laughs> Neither am I. So, he, the text says, keep in mind that Benjamin Franklin did not have the best education. He did attend school and appreciated education, but he did not perform very well when it came to advanced math. So for all you people out there that are watching that do not like math, Benjamin Franklin and you have a major connection here. Um, he also said that when it, the, for the first five years of his electricity experimentation, he was not able to depend on his firm knowledge of advanced math formulas and equations in order to assist him in his research and studies. He had to do everything by hand through trial and error. So basically, he had to use like a bunch of, um, he had to do a lot of different experiments in order to figure out electricity, which is crazy. Don't worry, I can still see your comments, people in the chat, Anna. Um, so also, another big thing that has to do with our heroes of the day, that Benjamin Franklin played a key role in founding, in the founding of the first American hospital. So even though he didn't build the first hospital, he um, was able to generate and collect a huge amount of donations in order to get the hospital to be funded and he also improved its efficiency after it was constructed so this is so cool he was the very first person to discover that fresh air was a required necessity when it came to curing diseases and improving the general health of patients so that just goes to show you getting outside and soaking in some vitamin D, AKA that's what we get from the sun, is helpful for our health. However, you just do it at a socially acceptable distance. Mm -hmm. um, let me go grab Stella. If you wanna say anything, remind them of the stream today, that'd be awesome. All right, okay guys, I got Olaf here. Olaf, look, look right here. Um, and I got his favorite thing, treats. Because, you know, that's that's literally how I'm keeping him in my lap right now is the fact that I have my box of treats right here. I want to just remind you that my stream today is at 1145. And Olaf would like to remind you that we have a fun stream today at 215. 215. Oh, my gosh. It's a slobbery. At 215 today, we have a stream. And it'll be all hosted on my channel. Mm -hmm. It'll be in Miss Perone's channel. And she, and it will be all fun games with Miss Boylan. Yes, and we will announce the winners of the raffle on mm -hmm. the stream. So it's important for them to to go. Um, it's important for you to tune in if you want to know who win won our weekly raffle this week. Yes, super duper. Um, and we it's almost thirty minutes now. Any questions that we can help you answer? I don't. Ella will help you answer questions. That's okay, Freddie. Tune in after. Tune in after just to hang out with us. Drop a comment in. Um, you'll have to tune in to find out, Moises, what kind of games. Yeah. I know. I wish you guys could meet Stella in person, too. But she's honestly probably not the most friendly. Yeah, you don't want to walk. Yeah, she may look cute, but I don't think that she's the most friendly. 
She might be. I don't know. Pull off some jerk. But he sure is cute. Yeah, he's something. He's food motivated. That's what he is. Oh, it's okay, Ari. You made it just in time. Please make sure you go back and view because um, we are learn learned about conjunctions today. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. My God, it looked like she was singing just then. Okay. So go back and view it, okay, Ari? So that way you can um, get caught up on it. It'll help you, what we did today will help you with day five in the packet work. All right, so we are gonna end the stream. We love you, we miss you. We hope to see you at 11.45 for Miss Hoffman's stream. And back here on this channel today at 2.15, we will be doing our fun Friday stream with Miss Boylan, where we do games, 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 games. Oh, my gosh. What is Olaf doing? He's eating my fingers. Stella doesn't do that anymore. Okay. So, ciao for now. Ciao. We love you and bye. Bye. Love you. Hashtag sponsors, paper mate. Okay. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye.